Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about ordering decimals. We have a problem here. Five runners joined the 100 meter dash running event. All four runners had their turn and recorded the following time. 12 and 7700 seconds. 12 and 7800 seconds, 12 and 700 seconds, and 12 and 7 tenths seconds. How many seconds must the last runner get to win the race? Are we given are the following? We have 12 and 77 hundreds. We also have 12 and 78 hundreds, 12 and 7 hundreds, and 12 and 7 tenths. How do we order decimals? The following are the rules to follow. The first one is line up the decimal points. So let's line them up, especially the decimal points. The next step is to annex zero so that each has the same number of decimal places. So we'll write zero. There you go. Now they have the same number of decimal places. Next is to use place value to compare and order decimals. We can observe that in the whole number part, all of these decimals have 12. Now let's observe the tens place. We can see that the first decimal, second, and the fourth decimal has 7 in their tens place. For the third decimal, it has 0 in the tens place. Then we can say that the third decimal is the least among the four. It means this runner reached the finish line the fastest. This would mean that the runner which has a recorded time of 12 and 7 hundreds will be the first among the four. This time, let's observe the hundreds place. We have 8 in the first decimal, 7 in the second decimal, and 0 on the third decimal. Which of these three will be the next runner after 12 and 7 hundredths. That's for sure it's going to be 12 and 70 hundredths record time. He will be the second among the four. Because if you're going to compare it, zero is the least among the three compared to eight and seven in the hundredths place. Next in line is 12 and 77 hundredths. Why? Because 7 is less than compared to 8 in the hundreds place. And the last one will be the runner who has a record of 12 and 78 hundreds. Back to our problem, it says there that what must be the time of the fifth runner in order to win the race? She or he has to have a time record of 12 and 6 hundreds seconds in order to win the race because so far based on our given here 12 and 700 seconds is the fastest our final answer will be a time record that is less than 12 and 700 seconds and that's it let us have some exercises order the decimals in ascending order that is from least to greatest we have here 12 and 3 tenths, 1 and 23 hundredths, 123 or 123.0, and 123 thousandths. So the first thing that we should do is to align these decimals and align the decimal points in order for us to know which of the whole number part is the greatest. Let us now rewrite these decimals. We'll have it here, 12 and 3 tenths, 1 and 23 hundredths, 123.0 and 123 thousandths. Now let's compare the numbers in the whole number part. Which of these numbers has the least value among the four. I guess we have an answer that's zero. That means this will be the first 
number or decimal number we will write. So we'll write it here, that's 0 decimal point 123 or 123 thousandths. What is next? We have 1 in the whole number part. It means it is the next number that we will write on our lists. That's 1 and 23 hundredths. What's next? We compare 12 and 123. Of course, we have 12 and 3 tenths. And the last one will be 123.0 or 123. We have the next one still in ascending order. We have here 6 and 9 hundredths, 6 and 90 hundredths, 69 or 69.0, and 69 hundredths. This time, let's rewrite the decimals so that we can align the decimal points for us to identify which of the whole number part is the least. Now, let's rewrite these decimals. Let's have 6 and 9 hundredths. 6 and 90 hundredths, 69.0 or 69 and 69 hundredths. Now let's compare the whole number part. Which among these four decimals have the least value? I think we have an answer there and that is 0. It means that will be the first decimal on our line. Now, we have to choose between the first decimal and the second decimal since they have the same value in the whole number part. Let's have to compare the digits in the tenths place. In the first decimal, we have 0 and the other one has 9. So which one will we write first? I guess we're right. We'll write 6 and 9 hundredths. That will be followed by... 6 and 90 hundredths. And the last one will be 69.0 or 69. We, we have the next one here. We will arrange the decimals in descending order. That means we will arrange them from greatest to least. We have here 9 and 767 thousandths. 9 and 766 thousandths. 9 and 776 thousandths and 9 and 777 thousandths and i don't think that we will rewrite them because their decimal points are already aligned all we need to do is to identify the first place where the digits differ so let's start first with the whole number part they're all the same then we have all the decimal points they have all the same value in the tens place, which is 7. The difference that I can see here is in the first decimal and second, they have both 6 in their tens place. And the third and fourth decimal have 7 in their tens place. So since we're going to arrange the decimals from greatest, then we have to choose from the third and the fourth decimal. That would mean we'll just choose from these two. Which do you think we will write first, the biggest so far? Is it 6 or 7? So, I guess you're right. That will be 9 and 777 thousandths. That will be followed by 9 and 776 thousandths. Now, we will choose from these two, which will be the next. We'll compare the numbers in their thousands place is it going to be seven or six of course we will go for seven so the next one is nine and seven hundred sixty seven thousands and the last will be nine and seven hundred sixty six thousands there we go we have the answer for this set we will still arrange the decimals in descending order that's from the greatest to the least i guess we don't need to rewrite them because their decimal points are aligned all we need to do is to identify the first place where the digits differ, and that is in their tenths place. We have to choose between the second decimal and the fourth decimal. So which do you think will write first? Let's refer to their hundreds place. In here we have three, and the other one we have one. So we will go for the three. We will write 
231 hundredths. That will be followed by 213 thousandths. Next, we will just compare the first and the third decimal. Which do you think we will write first? Since they have the same number in the tens place, we will go in their hundreds place. Is it 3 or 2? Of course, we will go for 3. It means our next decimal here is 132 thousandths and the last will be 123 thousandths. And that's it. We're done. This time, we'll make this more exciting because I'll be asking questions and you will be answering it. The first three persons who can give us the correct answer will win some prizes. And are we ready? I know you're excited and we're ready to roll. Arrange the following decimals in ascending order. We have here 80 and 1202 ten thousandths. Next is 8 and 8 tenths. Next, 8 and 2 thousandths. We also have here 882 thousandths. And the last one, 8 and 120 ten thousandths. We will give you one minute to write the answer and we will be waiting for your answer. Good luck! Goodbye. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.